Let's look at another example. We're going to sketch by hand the quadratic expression y equals 3 times x plus 2 squared minus 1. Our first step is to graph y equals x squared. Remember, this is the starting point for all of our graphing or sketching by hand. So we'll put in these points. It's definitely handy, handy to remember the coordinates of each of these points. Negative 3, 9, negative 2, 4, negative 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 2, 4, and 3, 9. This is the parabola y equals x squared. Now our second step we're going to determine the values of a, h, and k from the given equation. Luckily for us, our quadratic expression is already in vertex form. So our a is 3, our h is negative 2, and our k is negative 1. Remember, our h's are always the opposite sign of what is shown in the equation. That's why we have a positive 2 here, but we have a negative 2 here. Our third step, we're going to apply the transformations in the correct order. Our first transformation that we're going to do is the reflection and the vertical compression. In this situation there is no reflection because we have a positive number. If it were negative it would cause the parabola to open downward. But this is positive, so it will remain open upward. But we'll take our a value and put it into y equals a x squared. So we're going to multiply all of the x values, or all of these squared x values, by a to give us our new y value. So. For this point, which is 1, 1, and for this point, which is negative 1, 1, it'll be multiplied by 3. So our y value will be multiplied by 3. So our y value, 1 times 3. is 3. So each one of these will move up to y equals 3. Then we'll do the next ones. 3 times 4. And they're off, the, they're off the graph. And the final one, 3 times 9, they're off the charts. So our new parabola y equals 3x squared looks like this thin one that's going off the chart. The next thing you need to do is perform the horizontal and vertical translation. So we take all of the x's and we're going to add h to it. So for each x coordinate we're going to add h. And in this case our h is negative 2. So this point moves over two units to the left. So does this one, so does the vertex, and so on. So there we have it. We've moved our points, we'll move our parabola. There is the horizontal translation. Next we do the vertical translation. So we'll be adding negative 1 to all the y-coordinates. So everything will be shifting downwards by one unit. The vertex moves down 1, and the rest of the points move down 1 as well. And then we move down our parabola. There we are. So we've completed all the transformations on y equals x squared,
to give us y equals 3 times x plus 2 squared minus 1. Remember, what we did is we selected any coordinate on the graph and we multiply its y value by 3, which is the a value. Then we move it two units to the left, which is our h value. And then we moved it one unit down, which is our k value. We did that with each of the points.